How do you grow your email list using video? Fantastic question, my friend. Let's talk all about it. So I am a big, big fan of growing my email list. I genuinely believe that even if you are putting in so much effort into social media, it really shouldn't be about the followers that you have on that platform. It should be about the conversion of taking those followers and getting them onto your email list because you own your email list. You do not own your social media following. During COVID, we have watched so many people get kicked off the YouTube platform. And that honestly, like I've seen people with millions of subscribers kicked off. It would be devastating to me to be kicked off with the number of subscribers that I have right now, which is like 36,000 because I've put in so much work into it. But a lot of these people, they said that they, they were fine with it because they had already built their email list and they built a separate platform for people to come back to. So you need to be considering this when you are first getting started on any social media platform. So how do you take people from social media and get them onto your email list? Let's talk about it. I came up with a video strategy that can help you do this from day one. And this is exactly what I teach in my course, the DIY Video Roadmap. So if you want more information about that, I really highly suggest it. I've put in tons of work. It's a fantastic program. You can find more info about that in the description below, as well as other resources that I have. So definitely be sure to check that out. So the video strategy is that you create a three-part video strategy that is going to guide people into using your approach to whatever it is that you do. So you are slowly teaching people your process. So let's say that I am a videographer which I used to be. Then I would create a three-part video series for the biggest clients that I have. So if I was, I like I used to do business videos, for example, and one of my favorite projects always was creating brand videos for individuals. And there were tons of questions that would come in on how to quote that better. So what I would do is I would create a three-part video, or sorry, not how to quote that better, like how do I how do I know how much it's going to cost kind of thing and all the questions that came along with that. So if I created a three-part video series that was, I like to call it your quick start guide to, your quick start guide to creating a brand video, then I would walk people through the first steps in the process so that they're more ready to work with me and they get into alignment about the mindset that I have when approaching projects. So you are giving people a quick start guide to whatever it is that you're doing, but you're also teaching your process. So within my course, I walk through this on a step-by-step -step basis from how to script your videos, how to film them, how to edit them, in the most efficient way possible and using the same system that I use for creating these weekly YouTube videos and my course videos. So it's just this nice package all wrapped in one. So if you are interested in that, once again, check that out in the description below. But once you have this video series, let's talk about what you actually do with it. So as you are creating social content, I recommend creating the three-part video series before you start posting on social media. You are going to use your social media content to push people to the quick start guide. And in doing this, you can actually track ROI on the effort that you're putting into social media because you are tracking the number of emails that you are getting. So when I'm looking at my metrics for, let's say, Instagram, I don't necessarily care about the number of likes or the number of comments, which there often are several comments, but very few click throughs to sign up for my email list, right? A lot of people, they'll click back to your profile, but they won't actually sign up. So you really want to get good at hooking people to go sign up for that. So your social content, uh, whether you're on podcast, in presentations that you're doing, you want to constantly be talking about your quick start guide and getting people to go join that because that's truly how you build your tribe. So those are my personal tips for how to grow your email list using social media. Be sure to click like if this was helpful, drop a comment below with your thoughts, and be sure to subscribe to this channel if you aren't already because I'm constantly dropping knowledge bombs that are going to help you grow your business using video. So if this is the first video that you're watching, then be sure to click back and check out the rest of the videos on my channel because there are a ton of them. I'll see you in the next video.